Hello, hello, hello. You won't believe it, folks. I'm back. Yes, I'm back again today. Another podcast interview. Let me tell you something. I really get excited every day, right? Some days eh, a little bit more excited than others, but I got to tell you, have you ever tapped into your superpowers? Do you even know what it means? We hear it. It's almost like a buzzword. Well, today on Speak to Me First podcast show, my guest, Ann Christie, is in the house today. She will bring it down. She's going to break it down. What it is about superpowers, why do we need to tap into it? And I got to tell you, it's not going to be a secret much longer because she's getting ready to launch a project. So without further ado, by way of Atlanta, and yes, she has a huge uh, history, family, relatives, you name it. This woman travels the globe, so she's very connected to Montreal, Quebec. She might even speak a little French for us, or Creole, if you will. But you know what? I'm just going to let her talk about it. Let me bring my guest in. Ann Christie in the house. Come on in, Ann Christie. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's so nice to see you again. I know we had an off-camera talk. We've connected and introed and introduced ourselves. So um, right off the bat, I don't want to forget uh, who's so connected to you, your publicist, Kia Armstrong. Kia Armstrong is based in uh, Florida, and right. she is an amazing, amazing person because right. she's the one that connected me to you, and you know how it works. Yes. And, and I told her I was going to give her a shout out today. Shout out to you, Kia Armstrong. I know you'll hear this. Much love to you. So we're going to get right into it. You know we're on a timer. Just broadcasting. Yes. Um, Welcome to Speak to Me First podcast show. I'm your host, Coach Toy, No Sugar Coding Coach. And today, can you just really, we're going to get right into it. Superpowers, we say it all of the time. Tell people who you are, what you do, and what is this project you have coming up? Go ahead, okay. the floor is yours. Oh, so many questions. Okay, first of all, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited, I'm excited to speak to you on camera and have this conversation to share with the world. Really excited about that. I think you have a fantastic story and I connected with it right away. And so excited to be here. Now, a little bit about myself. I'm Haitian, born and raised in Haiti, spent all my school years in Haiti up until the point that I went to Montreal, Canada for college. So tell you about some culture shock, right? An island girl going into the dead winter of Montreal, Canada, but it was a fantastic experience. Mm -hmm. It really opened, broadened my eyes. And fast forward 10 years after being in Canada for 10 years, I had friends from all around the world, which really opened my mind to people in humanity, right? Um, and then I started my actuarial career. I decided to go to do math. Why not? Let me pick the hardest major ever. Um, and I definitely went for it. And I got my actuarial degree. Um, and I started working as a consultant, um, working for multinational companies, helping them manage their pension plans, their liabilities all around the world. But as I was doing that, I developed the love for building models. I developed the love for, as an actuary. That's what we do. Uh, I developed the love also to solve problems. Mm -hmm. But parallel to that, I was always a people person. I was always solving some person's problem. I was yes. interesting and getting involved with so many people throughout my life. And then I'm not going to bore you with the details, but I pretty much brought both of these things together. My love mm -hmm. for modeling and creating models that produce results. And I said, what if I use my skills to solve social problems? What would that look like? And then, mm. so that's why, the, that's why I decided to create a model versus possibly being a life coach or something else. I figured I wanted to have a tool that people could utilize to solve their problems. Wow. Now, so you, you have been busy. Yes, uh, I've been. <laughs> between, uh, like you said, between the coming right there. I mean, you actually came from Haiti and went right into the freezing cold in Montreal. It oh was my a, goodness! It was 
Something. That was a weather shock. <laughs> A culture maybe as well. But um, so first of all, I applaud you for just saying, hey, I'm going to go ahead and do it and, and just get it done. Um, yeah. But I love your thought process because, you know, I mean, when you say you're an actuary, I know you have the project. I know that. But that is significant because um, we need more women. We, we always talk about STEM, you know, science, technology, mm -hmm. engineering and math mathematics mm -hmm. um so mm -hmm. i applaud you just for that because yeah. i don't even want to give my report card and wow. <laughs> uh, it was probably my least favorite subject so i probably would never have majored in it but i do know i want to applaud you um especially where you're also inspiring and motivating other women to say even if that's what you're doing but now you can go ahead and build on that you know exactly. um, most exactly. people just think about it as counting their money and, but right. you you have taken this a, a step further so i just wanted to put that out there but absolutely so now this has uh, brought you to thinking about models and so again building something yes. and um yeah and and tell me this project up and coming project and launch is this all uh, for women this particular project and i'll let you elaborate on that Absolutely not. It really is for anybody who needs it. And that's really what was important to me is to create something that could cater to anyone as long as they have that need for self-discovery. It really can tap into, I can really tap into younger kids, kids who are in college, um, men, women, boys, girls, um, talking about people who are mid-career, right? You have, you're in the space of trying to figure out what's my next step not really fulfilled in the role that I am right now. What shifts can I make in order to get some more fulfillment in my life? Mm -hmm. um, thinking about people who are simply just trying to reinvent themselves completely. People who are trying to make a tweak in their careers. This is a, for lack of a better word, like a come to Jesus moment, like people you would say, right? It's a moment where you can look at yourself in a mirror and have that conversation with yourself and being honest with yourself and that real realness will come out of that. I don't want to give too much of the tool, but it basically produces your purpose, right? If you're looking for your purpose or if you want to redefine it, if you want to understand it better, if you want to elaborate on it, you can utilize that system and it will produce a statement or a paragraph for you that will outline what your purpose is. Wow. So it takes someone um, really goes step by step, no matter what industry you may be currently working in. Um, it, will it work for entrepreneurs or seasoned professionals like myself? Is this something where you say, well, I'm mid-career, but I'm getting ready to transition into something else. Will these models or is it almost like homework, if you will? I know it's it's structured, but um, and how long does this take? I mean, is it a one week, two week? That's a good question. So um, I will answer the first question. It really is something that definitely can help somebody who is mid-career looking to make a change. Mm -hmm. But the reason, again, why it works that way is because it's a, it's a blank canvas that you get to color with your own colors. Mm. You put in your 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 inputs. You're inputting anything that you want in it. So if you take the example of somebody who's a nurse who loved being a nurse for a long time, but they're not finding that fulfillment in it. They know they're not completely off track, but they need to, there, there's a realignment that needs to happen. What mm -hmm. this tool helps you figure out is where you are today, where you want to go and building a bridge between the two. Wow. And then so now you're able to redefine what your objective is because a lot of times in life you know we don't we're not robots we don't have we're not superheroes in reality so we do get sidetracked and we do get distracted in life or for for, for any amount of reasons and sometimes we need to be recalibrated mm -hmm. and going back straight yeah i'm not sure about the second question coach toy well that's why i just want, kind of wanted to know how long does this yes. take so when someone starts the program is there like a finish line? Is it within yes. one or two weeks? Is it a month long? Or is it as you go? I love that question. And I really think it's, it depends. I've had people do it in one day, complete the whole program in one day. And I have people, they've been in it for two months. 
Mm. So I really think it depends on where you are because there are some questions that are, all the assessments are thought provoking questions. So depending on how comfortable you are and used to having conversations with yourself, that's where it lies. So if you're somebody you're in the beginning of the journey in terms of self-discovery and figuring yourself out, it might take a little bit more time because you might want to reflect more on some of those questions before inputting your answers. People who are more used to having that one-on-one -on -one with themselves, those answers come much more quickly. Wow. And you know something? When, like you said, everyone is an individual. So even the way we learn as individuals is, is different. If you, if I'm doing that same thing as someone sitting next to me going through your program, they may take a little bit longer or a little bit less, depending on how they understood the question and all that. And with that said, are you available to to help them? Will your team assist someone if they need it? They weren't sure about how the question is structured. Um, everyone wants to do well, but you know, I'm just yes. asking you have that Absolutely. assistance. And I did have a few people do it before the official launch. And so I was doing that one-on-one -on -one with them. But in order to help the group of people, the new group of people who are going to start joining the program is we're going to have weekly calls. Mm. We through coaching calls, really to allow people to share and to ask those questions to, to, to also hear about other people's answers, because that sometimes can um, inspire you to find your own answers or better answers. And then, so we will definitely have a group, group coaching calls on a weekly basis to allow people to participate and exchange and share. Okay, so that's great. Your team is ready and prepared. It sounds Absolutely. like you are really on the right track. You have to be excited about this. I, I mean, am so, I am so excited, Coach Toy. And the reason why I'm excited is because the reason why I created the model in the first place was because I was trying to solve my own problems. I was trying to figure out I, the best way to describe it is imagine if you have a puzzle that you need to solve. You have all the pieces, you know, the pieces are there, but you just don't know quite how to put it together and to create that picture that you can actually um, enjoy and observe. Mm -hmm. And to, what I had to do that for myself because I had quit my job. I understood that I needed to do that and move to a different direction. Mm -hmm. And I had all these pieces and I was like, what's the next step? And analysis paralysis came about. I was paralyzed for weeks. What am I doing? And I use my actuarial skills with my interpersonal skills with my spiritual self and I put all of these things together and I solved my puzzle and then I realized that the way I solved it wasn't a, a um like a an inspiration it was really a methodical way that I approached it as an actuary mm -hmm. and I thought, wow how great would it be I can so many people can find their solution now so many people can solve their life their their, their puzzle life puzzle now and so I put it into a system that now anybody could use as long as it came with their puzzle pieces. If you come with your puzzle pieces, the system will put that picture together for you. Wow. I mean, the more I listen to you talk about this in detail, uh, the more intriguing it gets. Because many people say, well, I'm launching a new business. I'm this, I'm that. But they're not as passionate about it. They just are doing it because it will bring them money. And yes. undoubt, I mean, we're all looking for that, you know, the mighty dollar. But, um, you know, you got to put your all in it. And that's one thing that I love to do. Whatever I do, put a hundred plus. I always say I bring my hundred plus game, not my hundred game. That's that's yes. it for me. My A plus game, not my A game. So, you know, right. um, with that said, Tell us, because people want to know, especially with entrepreneurs, um, women inspiring women, hashtag women inspiring women, hashtag, you know, women motivating women, which is what you're doing today. But I love it. Your program is actually co-ed. So you're going to help a lot of people, including yes. women, but you're going to help. And globally, if I'm correct. I, I, this is a human problem. I love, I'm, I, I'm a humanitarian. So I love to solve human problems. Mm -hmm. It's not so much a smaller group because I believe that collectively if we're better then the smaller groups are going to be better. And so it has to be a human problem. It has to be something that, that can impact the most people. Mm -hmm. And then, so this is a common problem. You know, we live in a world where people are generally lost. The rates mm -hmm. of depression are really, really high. 
Um, people are chasing after money and not chasing after their self-fulfillment. And when that happens, it becomes unsustainable. They break and they break down because chasing after money is simply not sustainable. But if Mm -hmm. you chase after your passion and your mission, you will bring that A plus game coach toy. And that's what we're talking about. What can we do to allow people to bring their A plus game? Mm -hmm. What happens is if you would not necessarily be passionate to, let's say, mowing a lawn, you would not, it would be hard for you to bring your A plus game because lawns may not be interesting to you. Mowing is not interesting to you. Being under the sun like this may not be something that interests you. So how do we align people with things that really resonate inside of them deeply? And that's what the system does. It allows you to align with your best self. So that way, when you do that thing, instead of saying, oh man, I have to do this today, you say, oh my God, I get to do this today. Yes. And then, so that's what we want. We want people to be excited about their own lives. So this is not Anne Christie telling this person or that person to do or not do. The tool will allow you to find that for your own self. So I don't know what the answer would be for you or for Jack or for Jill or for whoever. And so that's the beauty of it is you are the only one who knows. I've had people find their purpose through my program and I was like, I'm not impressed. But the reason why I was not impressed is because this does not resonate with me personally, Mm. but it resonated inside of them. And they understood that and that fire lit up. And they were like, yes, I know exactly what I need to do now. Everything is clear because the puzzle has been put together. Yeah. And absolutely. And it sounds like uh, uh, there is the coaching component within uh, your program, because if you if you you may not hold the title as coach, but right now from a fellow coach to you, I'm going to say you really do sound like a coach. Um, I and I think that. Like, oh, we are all coaches in some sort of way, but I, to, uh, just a little more clarity. Would you consider the program to be a self-help model or something different? And you know, that's exactly what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be self-help versus, look, I spent 30 plus years of my life coaching people. And I found myself many times creating a voice message and sharing a bunch of people. So what was I doing there? I don't like, again, I love efficacy, efficiency. I'm an actuary. So why am I doing the same thing three, four, five times? Whenever you do that, you need to create a model. And then so that's why I decided to create the model. But it doesn't change the fact that you do need that communion with people. You do need that life coach element. And then so I've partnered with the Source Academy. Um, and they are going to help deliver the life coaching part because people do need to, you know, as you're creating, and we also have a community on the page as well. You need to create a community so that you can keep remaining accountable to yourself and also be around like-minded people, people who have awakened in their lives and who are also pursuing their vision um, through their purpose. And then, so that's why we're, so yes, there will be an element of life coaching, group coaching, community-based all so that we can grow that community and have a bunch of people who are have awakened connect with each other. Yeah. And I mean, that's fantastic because I think what happens is people put their product and their services out there, but it's usually, it's just one for everything. Everything is supposed to fit everyone. And that's clearly not the case with no. your um, you know, company and, and your launch, what you're doing for your product and services. So that's going to make it a whole lot better. Um, you can actually define it and then they have the coaching component. So if they're struggling with answer questions, you're gonna have the weekly calls and what have you. I mean, just giving people access um, you know, so that they're not saying, I just purchased a program, but I can't get in touch with X, Y, and Z, or I'm yes. having difficulty. I can't get in touch. That is very frustrating, um, uh, for a lot of people. And we're, I am available on social media and I will be available by email. And so people will always be able to reach me because my, my real objective is to bring people from darkness to light. And so that's, you know, I don't really believe in altruism in the way that maybe most people do. I believe that you need to have some kind of self-satisfaction in helping others. And so my satisfaction is seeing the light, light, the light turn on in people's lives. And so if I can be part of that, somebody's asking me a question and they're like, yes, I got this. 
that's my personal satisfaction. So I definitely want to be there for that transformation. Yes. Absolutely. I'm telling you, folks, we've been listening to Ann Christie. You're listening to uh, Speak to Me First podcast show. I'm your host, Toy Johnson Vincent, a.k.a. the No Sugar Coating Coach. I don't sugarcoat it here, but when I do, it's with love and respect. And I'm telling you, Ann Christie, yes, if, if she doesn't mind, I'm just going to say CEO. If it's your company, you are the CEO of in developing I am, I am. and everything else in between. So, and you know how I talk about it, CEOs, OOOs and everything, <laughs> titles <laughs> Uh, are just that, but you're bringing more than just your title today. And I do appreciate it, I'm sure, um, uh, both our national as well as international audience uh, listeners appreciate you dropping the gems today. I'm going to yes. turn the corner, um, you know, as we are uh, somewhat near the broadcast uh, ending. But I want to talk, about, just tell me, with all that you do, you have to be probably one of the most busiest people on the planet, especially when you're getting ready to launch uh, mm -hmm. something going on, it's cooking, busy, stress, everything above. How um, can you give our listeners some tips on your entrepreneurship journey and maybe one or two tips on how to keep that stress level down? If someone's out there saying, listen, I just heard Ann Christie, she's starting this, she's starting that, the launch and everything, but she seems very well poised. Any challenges or a couple of tips that um, you can give someone who may be venturing on entrepreneurship? I love that idea. And the first thing that I would say, do not start just any business because it will burn you out. You must, if you want to give yourself the best chances of success, is to find the business that aligns with your purpose, which is why I created the course, is to find your purpose. And so, because like you said, Coach Soy, you have to find something that bring that allows you to bring your A plus game easily, which is why it's called the school of superpowers, by the way. And the reason why we love superheroes is because they make everything seem so easy. They're doing fantastic things, but very easily. So we get mesmerized by it. How about if we had something like this, something that comes came easily to us more than most people? And so that's what this course helps you figure out. What is your edge? So that's the first tip that I would say is find your purpose first before you start that business, because you will be burned out. Don't go, you will go into many different directions. I'm sure you know people, Coach Toy, who, oh, I'm going to start this car business. And then two months later, they can't do it because what it really takes to run the car business, they really don't want to put in that energy mm -hmm. or they can't put in that energy. So you want to start and you're, you're the best footing. Okay, so that's one. Number two, I would say, be realistic. Big dr dream, big, but be realistic. I quit my six-figure paying job a, f a few months ago, many months ago, almost a year now. But I didn't just do it on a whim. I prepared mm. myself. The I quit is not reasonable. Yeah. Prepare yourself. I prepared myself emotionally as much as you can. I'm not. You don't need to be perfect. Is the thought create mm. space to. Prepare yourself emotionally, psychologically, mentally, mm -hmm. and financially as much as you can. If you can have a million dollar in the bank before you quit, that's fine. If it's 10,000, that's okay too. But have a, a plan so you mm -hmm. can be, so you don't have that stress of, oh, I need to make it. The moment you do something for the purpose of money is the moment that you lose your purpose. Mm. If you work on purpose, if you focus on your purpose, Look, Coach Toy, let's say this project that I'm putting together, only 10 people buy the course. It really will not matter because I have so much more to give. I will keep going anyway. I already have three more things that I'm working on because I am aligned with my purpose and what I have an abundance in. I have an abundance of that in me. And then so in this game of life, I will likely win this thing because I have more. We will keep fighting until I win. I have the energy for it versus I'm starting a random business that I don't even really care about. After two punches, I'm down and I stay down. Mm. And then so it's really finding that. And then lastly, for um, I do believe that stress management is important. Mm -hmm. Remember to stop and smell the roses. Life is a journey. It is not a destination. We can die at any moment. Every single day needs to be lived. Like if I die today, I'm okay. I, I, I live like that. Every night I scan. 
Mm -hmm. Am I okay? Which means, was I a good mom today? Did I meet my own expectations of being a mother today? Was that a great friend today in the way that I would like to show up for people? Was I good to myself? And so these are all the things that I check throughout the day. It's not just, oh, how much money I made today. Mm -hmm. Because then you're only chasing that and you're keeping everything else on standby. And then you're mm -hmm. starting to have this, this guilt that's building up inside of you. I know I need yes. to get back to that. And touch everything that matters to you. Take care of them. You don't go into your garden and, 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 and water just one plant. You water all of them. Mm -hmm. So that's what you Take care of yourself. Eat, challenge yourself to eat better. I exercise pretty much any chance I get. People say, how often do you go to the gym? I say, any chance I get. <laughs> if I'm not needed at the house, my son does not need me. I make sure. And he says, mommy, you haven't worked out today. Because he also understands the, mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the need for self-care. So mm -hmm. self-care is extremely important. That's really what allows you to keep loving yourself and being kind to yourself. And then to have enough energy to keep fighting this fight and keep going on that journey. Wow. I mean... And and that's really important because and the reason why I ask that, because a lot of entrepreneurs, they get burnt out right at the seams. They're just they have all the energy and the wear it all at first. And then they realize, I mean, we have to prepare almost for hiccups that can and often do happen, especially in new businesses. But again, even as a seasoned professional, um, I say I could have my own hiccups as well. You know, uh, don't doesn't have to be a brick and mortar store don't have That's to right. be a CEO. You just have to want to do something so bad, be passionate about it and, you know, follow your dreams and goals. I'm hearing a lot of that in what you just projected. And, um, you know, one of the things uh, what I wanted to know, turning that topic again is, well, what do you do for fun? <laughs> now you have all of these things going. Uh, so, you know, we can't let you leave this program without saying, okay, well, she does that. She does this. Um, multitasking, right? Uh, you, you already have that pretty much hands down about yeah. to launch this business. And I believe it now that's coming up, right? Coming up real soon. Yes. On Friday, May 26th is going to be the Yay. official. So excited. I cannot wait to see all these lives being transformed in front of yeah. my eyes. That's my satisfaction. I'm going to be part of something great. Um, so yes, it's on March 26th. Yes. And I can wow. tell you what I do for fun. I mean, I am, I will not say that word on broadcast because it might be right. interpreted the, the wrong right. way. But I love pleasures. I love having fun. I'm a joyful person. I'm okay. always seeking joy. So I'm the person who, if we're in a group, I'm going to look for a story to tell you to make you laugh, right? I love entertaining. And that's why I love having fun myself. So okay. dancing is my number one love. Dancing and music. I'm I'm out every other weekend if I can. Um, just to go out dancing. That's where my little inner child comes out and dances and has fun. Um, I absolutely love traveling. Like we were speaking off, off camera. I have family all around. So I have an opportunity. I get to go visit people in beautiful and great places, which is awesome. So any chance I get to travel, I travel. Um, believe it or not, parenting is something that I really, really enjoy doing. So I put it in my joy category. Part of it anyway, not the folding clothes and all that stuff, right? <laughs> um, but just spending time with kids is something that I really enjoy doing. Like last weekend, we went um, skating. Again, it makes it so much roller skating. Mm -hmm. Kids make everything more fun. So yes. I love doing a lot of things with them. I love water activities. So water park, we're going to do that all summer. I love doing those things. Um, I love mm -hmm. nature. I love being outdoors. So I'm constantly around nature somehow. Um, yeah. So these are the things that, and I love yoga, right? Dancing, yoga, eating, cooking, spending time with friends and family, traveling. These are my things. Wow. Well, you, I think you just summed that up on the Speak to Me First podcast show as hashtag self care or self care awareness. Be aware, yes. you're clearly aware of your surroundings um, because you're doing so much and and not all of us work the traditional nine to five. If you're starting a business and your business is launching on Friday, um, you know, you definitely have to take care of yourself and get yeah. rest because you won't be any good to anybody. You can have the best product and services out there, but um, it's how you bring it, your A plus game in front of the world because it's gonna be global. Um, and just like this broadcast will be global. And speaking of, and you said you have, um, you. Are Haitian descent? Yes, 
born and raised. Now, so you can speak Creole, Creole as and well as French? Yeah, French is my first language. First right. and Creole, both my first languages in an English wow. sense. Well, can you tell the audience in French or Creole, um, I just want you to say something beautiful to them, encourage, like something like, be motivated. Can you just say that? And I'll learn something today. I'll say it both in French and in Creole. I'll start with French from my Montreal folks. Okay. So I will say, trouvez votre passion, alignez-vous à votre cœur et à votre vision. Et assurez-vous à chaque jour de travailler sur quelque chose que vous aimez et sur lequel vous êtes passionné. Wow! So you said exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, I just always love it, you know, with language and everything. I mean, I appreciate you doing that because, again, well, by the way, um, I, as I mentioned, uh, we are currently in 20 countries and counting. I need to check that today. But I remember seeing uh, Montreal. I remember seeing Canada, period. But I mean, there's just different areas. Um, so I appreciate that. And I know the audience listeners will say, wow, this is, and it's one of my first that I've had someone to be able to say that. Um, so I appreciate you for that. Well, I just need to know uh, before we really close is what's next for, and I know you're saying, is she kidding? She's asking me what's next. I'm getting ready to launch something, but I know you're a multitasker. So uh, what's next for Ann Christie? Uh, do I hear a book in the works, uh, something live, a conference perhaps, where you need a speaker like me, like a keynote? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, this is, like I said, this is absolutely just the beginning um, as it pertains to the School of Superpowers, because I have two other things that I'm doing on the background, uh, because again, I'm a geek, so I do have a management consulting firm I'm kind of working on right now, but that's another thing. Uh, mm -hmm. But for the School of Superpowers itself, absolutely. I actually already wrote a book about, I wrote a few things, but I started a series of books for, for children. I, I wrote it a couple of years ago now, um, just looking for the right moment to put it out there. I wanted it to be a three prong series because I wanted to create awareness for kids. I wanted to give kids, even the whole name of superpowers is really was for kids. I was doing a session for kids, an empowerment session for kids. And I said, hey guys, welcome to the School of Superpowers. And it kind of stuck with me. And I realized how it would be impactful for adults as well. So I do have books um, that I wrote for kids already. Um, absolutely. I have other courses that I want to put out there because I love the process of transformation. I want the School of Superpowers to be a place where people come in and find a, a, some, a small transformation that's going to propel them to something else. So I will keep creating different programs. One of the things I'm thinking about, I actually already have the outline, is how to co-parent with somebody that you hate, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is so important uh, for women to because you know we have a tendency of being stuck in the negativity men as well um i'm not discounting that but specifically for women because they're the ones who share that with me of how hard something like this can be and i realize how much of an imprisonment it is for women and that you're not able to grow because you're just stuck in that space and so this is something that i would like to speak about talk about write about teach about um and a few other superpowers that i have in mind yeah. absolutely speaking um but what i'm making sure that i'm doing for myself is as i'm going into this journey i will have many opportunities and some of them might be opportunities masked as dis distractions masked as opportunities and then it's very important as you when you know your purpose to be very intentional about where you put your energy because if you start being crazy oh my god and now you're going everywhere you're going to lose yourself Mm -hmm. And then so it's important to stay intentional and to um, to stay on your purpose. And you know you can really find your purpose at any point. I always invite people to go back to the course because the moment some fundamental things change in your life, your purpose mm -hmm. might change and it's okay. And you might need to reassess that. And then so I, I will keep doing that for myself. Mm -hmm. But anything that I will be doing from this moment forward, I see for the next 20 years, is speaking on personal development helping humanity evolve. I'm so passionate about, that's my real vision is to, I want to participate in humanity's evolution. I want to help people move forward, move from violence, right? Move from hatred, move from 
there's it's, these are not bad things to me this is just where we are in humanity's evolution we're just at the beginning of humanity's evolution and so we just need to move move past those things and mm -hmm. i want to participate in that human in that transformation and so yeah. really everything that i want to be doing i mm -hmm. want it to be aligned with helping humanity evolve whether it's yes. teaching, teaching writing a book consulting anything yeah, well, you've got you will have it all covered, and I believe in one of. I love the title of your program, um, your launch coming up on Friday, which is May twenty sixth, twenty twenty three. Um, you know, we have to you know wish in the kudos and congrats to you. Now, I say tell people that they're already successful, so that it's you don't wait until Friday to say oh it's success, it's a success. No, you're successful now. The, the brainstorming behind the project, you know, yes. that's where I want to applaud you, the brainstorm behind it. And I'm telling you that those actuarial skills, they came in handy, <laughs> to, you know, stand here we go. So for my um, younger audience who are just thinking about, uh, and by the way, and I'll bring that up, a lot of people right now, uh, young people are graduating and they're yeah. getting ready to walk down that aisle Mm -hmm. uh and grab that you know piece of paper mm -hmm. and then what and so i want you if because you are an innovator mm -hmm. and i love your story so would you mind before we close mm -hmm. uh would you please give some some words of wisdom some thought for those graduates that are going to leave that university college university they're getting ready to go out into the globe. And a lot of them, as we know now, people are embarking on entrepreneurship. Yes. Just do you have one piece of advice to them or suggestions I for young people? Are we talking about young people who graduated college? Who are graduating from college. Okay. Whether it's a bachelor's or master's, it, it doesn't the matter. That I would say, do not start that project crazy to say, right? Do not start it. Make sure until you can make sure that the project that you're going to do, you are going to be able to put at least 150% in it for the next 10 years. If you don't feel that you can do that, then don't start it and find the project that where you feel excited. Again, mm -hmm. every day you have to wake up and say, I get to do this again. Mm -hmm. If you have to say, man, I have to do this again, you're not going to make it. Even if you find success early on, it will not sustain because most billionaires will tell you, you know, I, I've, I've studied those people. They always, they never say, oh, I'm selling the product that, you know, the, uh, the most expensive product. Mm -hmm. It's always about their mission. Mm -hmm. If your mission is strong, then your endeavor will be successful. Mm. But if you don't have an underlying mission, it means like you're faking it till you're making it. Well, you're... You, it, it's, it's just going to be a short-lived project. So if mm -hmm. you want that long, big project, make sure that it is aligned with your purpose. And I created a tool to help you know what that is. If you're not sure of it, or if you want to make, have more... Uh, uh, um, clarity. Clarity, exactly. If you want to find some clarity, or if you want it to be more... Because it's very, very specific, the purpose that comes out from my system. So if you want to make sure that it's really zoned into something specific, follow it's plus it's not even that expensive for what you would get out of it i strongly encourage people to find their purpose before they start that business because that way they will be able to bring in 150 percent of themselves and they will not be burnt out and they will be happy doing it absolutely and i'm telling you thank you for that because i love to encourage young people even with my hr background about interviewing job search all of that career development and I strategize how or help people with strategizing their way up upward um, yes. into their careers or profession or chosen profession. So, um, but many people are now, uh, particularly young people are starting their own business. As soon as they walk down that graduation aisle, they've already invested uh, sometimes monies and time along mm -hmm. with doing their studying. And I do applaud them if everybody's on the right track. And the other, the good news is they have the age behind them. <laughs> so they, you know, they have a, a lot more, you know, timing uh, to get it wrong, mm -hmm. not get it right, 
and yes. do something else and move on and still be successful. So I do thank you so much for uh, encouraging our young people to make sure you just kind of pause and, and really understand what you're getting into. If you're not going to give it your all, then try to do something else. And that that's we, we, where we leave it. Uh, but and yeah, we have coaches for the <laughs> that's people need coaches. Um, but thank you so much. So um, the last thing is uh, we are finally at our wrap up. Uh, again, we've been listening to Ann Christie. You do have a last name. In case people are checking you out on LinkedIn, would you mind uh, sharing your last name, how to spell it, where they can find you on a professional website, LinkedIn? And okay, so <clears throat> we sort of froze a it's little bit there. C H I S T I E and Christy. Yes, so it's I mean, it's Anne Christy A N N E C H R I S T I E. That's the first name. Guillaume, actually Guillaume in in English, it's actually William. So Guillaume is the William is the English version of Guillaume. By the way, so it's Guillaume G U I L L A U M E. Excellent. Um, and they will find you. Yes. On social media, you will find me uh, under the, the school of superpowers. Okay. I'm on definitely very active on IG. Um, so it's the school of superpowers. I'm also on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, the school of superpowers, Facebook page. I'm on LinkedIn under the school of superpowers. I'm on YouTube, the school of superpowers, and I'm on TikTok, the school of superpowers. Excellent. Excellent. Well, what we got from that folks, Trust and believe you will find Ann Christie Guillaume. Yes. Under the School of Superpowers. Thank you so much. Congratulations from the Speak to Me First podcast show. I'm Toy Johnson Vincent, your no sugar coding coach, and I welcome you back. I know when the school gets up and running, you may want to come back and tell us how you're doing. Check in with us from time to time. So okay. I'm sure the audience will look forward to you sharing your episode of your podcast interview very, very soon. Again, congratulations and another shout out to your publicist. Kia Armstrong, that's K-I-A-H Armstrong, who is also out there in social media land. She's wonderful. She does a whole lot of digital content. She is amazing. And I appreciate her for connecting us today. And Christy, thank you so much for coming. You know how to exit. Yes, thank you so much, Hi. Coach Sorry. Bye to your audience and enjoy your day. And remember, remain kind to yourself. Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. That was Ann Christie Gilliam. That's right. That's right. Check her out on LinkedIn, the professional website, as well as she's heavily on Instagram, do a lot of posting between there and Facebook on all the social media platforms and YouTube. Don't forget to check her out. And that's Ann, A-N-N-E, Christie, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-E, Gilliam. So, uh, what did you learn today? I learned a lot. I mean, I just enjoyed talking to Ann Christie about her journey, <clears throat> excuse me, her journey uh, of success, the launch of her program, the superpowers, the school of superpowers will be uh, launching this weekend. It is a Memorial Day weekend. In fact, on Friday, which is May uh, 26th, and uh, you will definitely be able to, to listen and share her episode and make sure you share it with people who are really interested and in perhaps starting their own business. They, are, they want to take a leap, the leap of faith, the leap of success, the leap to success. But you know what I say, you're already successful. You just have to tap into your talent and tap into your journey and it's an individual journey so like Ann Christie said take some of the things that she said and check this out I mean she was and still is an actuary right so that means she studied uh mathematics I mean she's pretty good at it not good she's great at it if not brilliant with numbers and then she thought about it with her mindset and building a model that will help other people, both men and women, 
So um, this is going to be amazing and it will be online. Her uh, course and her model, her program that she will launch on Friday, May 26. Again, check out uh, the School of Superpowers. You can look her up and, and things like that and try to contact her um, via Messenger, perhaps on LinkedIn or Instagram. Um, and just give her, you know, a shout out and make sure that you said you heard her interview on Speak To Me First podcast show. Say it again, Speak To Me First podcast show. You know who it is. Again, I want to leave you with this. If you never start anything, how do you expect to finish? If you never start, how do you expect to finish? Stop worrying about being perfect and just do it. Those transferable skills as an HR person, I'm always talking about it. I help you navigate both your career and or your life skills journey. And I want you to be able to use those transferable skills into other areas of your life so that you can be greater or achieve greater success than you already have. Because again, you're already successful. You just need to tap into your own talented resources. And with that said, I wish you a wonderful weekend. It just happens to be a very long holiday weekend on the uh, Memorial Day holiday weekend. Make sure that you're staying safe out there as you travel amongst the globe. I'm Toy Johnson Vincent, your no sugar coating coach. To learn more about me, go to my website at TJV Empowers You, the letter you.com. Again, TJV Empowers You, the letter you.com. If you want to invite me to speak, make sure you inbox me via LinkedIn. I'm uh, mostly on that platform. Um, I also have a Facebook page and profile so you can like my page, follow me on Instagram at no sugar coating coach. That's my tagline. And again, make sure you share, like, share, and subscribe to this podcast show. Again, 20 countries and counting. Hopefully you're next. So until next time on Speak to Me First podcast show, I'm Toy Johnson Vincent, your no sugar coating coach. I wish you all the best. And as I say, all of the time ending my broadcast, success, success is in your future. Bye for now.